Huh. Well, I guess I'll just cook. First, you need to get out your rice cooker. Get the pot. That's a spoon inside of it. Crunch. You just want to rinse out all the old rice out of it. I'm going to get this one out. Just rinse. Okay. That's the little one. Hold up. Okay, we got pretty much your rinsed out bowl. Go into the pantry. Get some bag and get some rice. And yeah. Huh. How much rice do I actually want? <laughs> well, if I'm just serving it for myself, hmm, let me think. Probably like more mobile, just to be safe. And then... Okay, that looks about enough rice for probably just me. Pretty much, you want to rent out the rice. So I guess the best way to do it. So I rent out the rice because you know it could be dirty. So get some, put some water, rinse it out, swirl it around. Probably about like three times should be good, but you know, the more the better. Just try to, try to just clean it out. And then pretty much when you're good, you should have, you add water to pretty much equal amount of rice. So, this should, yeah. Uh, just pour a little bit. It's just a little like that. Just like equal amount of water, equal amount of rice. And then... Take that. Put it in the rice cooker. Close that. Make sure you have it plugged in. And put it on cooking. Well, well that's cooking. You cook it about 15 minutes. So what time is it now? Uh... It's about 2.27, quick math, that would be, so 15 minutes plus 2.27, that would be 30, 40, 42, yeah, 2.42, well now, let's try to, let's get the eggs. It should be somewhere in the fridge. Where do we put the eggs? Well, okay, two eggs. Should be enough. Also, you want to get a pan. I also want to rinse that one too, so just just rinse it. Yep, that's normal. Pretty much, 
you just get extra virgin olive oil or just olive oil cheese yeah nah, just enough just to pour the pan just swish it around And pretty much get your egg. It's like yeah, right here. Let me just put it somewhere where you can probably see it. And it's fine if you crack it as long as you don't get any eggshells on it. It should be fine. Doesn't matter if you're messy or not. As long as you get the food, you get the food. Let's, uh, I'll be back. I need to check if there's any more eggs. Because usually I like to eat three. I like to eat three eggs. I'll be back. That's not, that's not edible. I mean, I don't think that's edible yet. I don't think you can eat the egg. Okay. Back with another egg. Just crunch, you can just crack it on the side. Good crack, and then just put both thumbs in, and just pull apart. Easy. Okay. When you get just about three eggs, I like to use a chopstick to stir around. So like, uh, turns like these. Turn on the burner, make sure nothing crumbles in the way, so. Wrong one. There it is. Swing to a night. Okay, let me just use this one. This one's easier. There we go. I like to pop the yolks and then just scramble them inside. Just move it around. Just keep moving around. Put it on high heat just to get it cooking. And then after a while, you just slowly put it down because you don't want to overcook it. I mean, you don't have to keep on stirring around, but I like to keep it stirring around. Try to break up all the yolks. So, it's like a little bit of whisk. Yeah. Slowly see, started to get moving. I can do this one hand, so. Let's crunch better. Smooth it around. It's mostly still liquid, but yeah. make sure you get the edges here. I'm gonna put this back down. There you go. Slowly cut it down, with the eggs a little bit. There's a lot of eggs. Roll it on the heat a little bit more. There we go. You can't smell it, but it smells delicious. Just put the egg back. Simple, just pinch oil, egg, 
and then just a pan. And then just get it cooking. Put it a little bit on low. Kind of like my eggs a little bit soft, but you know, not liquidy, so. Just solid enough. Smooth, but solid. Okay, looks about right. Oh, a back. And now, just let it cook for a little bit. Pretty warm. And let's turn it off. There you go. That should be good. So we get chopsticks right here. Camera. The inside. Huh. Well. There we go. Hello. there and let's check the time 235 crunch still got some minutes for the rice to be done cooking but while we're doing that we can also season I like to use black pepper and then soy sauce yeah well trying to get everything ready let's also get a plate well, actually, I use a bowl and a spoon. Huh. There we go. Let me check how the rice is cooking. Pretty good. Yep. Okay, I'll just cut to when the rice is pretty much going to be done. Okay, the rice is just about done. Well, actually, it is done. There it is. This goes good. Let me get the spoon wherever I put it. There it is. Let's rinse that one off too. Sorry. <laughs> Let me get the bowl. You know, that looks pretty good actually. Looks like rice. I like to get equal amount of rice, equal amount of egg. Put that right there. Uh, this to that. Probably a little bit, a little bit more. Let's get this chunk. And dump it there. That's good enough. Do a bit of a rice taste test. A a little bit more water would have been fine, but it's pretty good. Still rice, still edible. Pretty much how I would do this. Just... Okay. There we go. You want to put you want to put the black pepper on the eggs. Get that around. I like to put a lot because you know gets the flavor to stand out. And then you get the soy sauce right here, and you put this on the rice because the rice soaks in 
the sauce. So make a little space. I like to pour like a spoon in. Just smear it all around. You want to get mostly on the right because it soaks it in. There we go. This is pretty much how it looks. Now to test out how it tastes. Just put that right there. Turn on the light. There we go. It's pretty bright. Let's go eat it. Uh, this will work. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty good. I would use a little bit more soy sauce. <laughs> Just put it like probably like half a spoon extra if you need to. Dump it around the rice. And then you mix it around. It's pretty good.